Have you ever thought how to make learning more exciting? Well, sure, traditional methods like lectures and note-taking set their place, but I want to share a fresh approach that makes education not just more engaging, but truly joyful. Imagine a classroom where learning goes beyond tests and assignments, where students work on real-world challenges, feel a sense of purpose, and find genuine satisfaction in their learnings. Exciting, right? Let's explore three main methods of learning, which two of those you will be familiar with. First is traditional learning. This is your typical lectures, note-takings, and structured discussions. It's familiar and helps us build the foundation of our knowledge. Second is project-based. Uh, in this scenario, students work on creative projects, which also help them understand the importance of teamwork. And third, problem solving. In this scenario, students work on, uh, on real-world problems which they care about, finding solutions that go beyond the classroom to make meaningful impact. Uh, let's have a look at a student's everyday life. As students, we, uh, we go to school five days a week and have to prepare lessons for multiple subjects. Over time, this never-ending cycle can become boring. Uh, so, how can we make learning more exciting and meaningful? Imagine you're in a biology class and the teacher asks you to memorize a list of new terms for an exam. Alternatively, in another scenario, the teacher gives you a challenge, a problem to solve, such as how can we prevent non-genetic diseases in our community? In the second scenario, you're not just studying, you're exploring, researching, and applying the knowledge you already have to solve this problem. A study from Stanford University in, 20, uh, in 2018 showed that students involved in project-based activities outperformed their peers, not just in academic achievements, but but both the long-term retention of knowledge. Uh, last month, I asked my chemistry teacher to combine all three methods into one, and we got a big, diverse learning method. The lesson went like this. Uh, the lesson started traditionally. She just explained the basic knowledge about chemical reactions we needed to, to move forward. Then the class transitioned into a project-based activity. We had to create an eco-friendly cleaning product um, using household ingredients such as baking soda, vinegar, and lemon juice. We thought that we would get it in one try, but we failed miserably. But through errors and from our mistakes, we improved the formula and got the perfect one there could be. After this, we presented this to our classmates and they understood uh, uh, the importance of this eco-friendly cleaning products in the world. But how can we put this diverse learning method in other subjects? Here are some examples. In history, discuss uh, lessons from the past, focus on how historical events or patterns can inform modern day challenges, and then connect this into, uh, to an issue. Uh, how can lessons from past inform solutions to modern day challenges? Second example is math. Start with traditional problem solving exercises, pro uh, pro uh, progress to a project where students design a budget for a community event or a small business idea and then link the math concepts to real-world scenarios like financial planning or resource management. And last, science. Begin with lectures on renewable energy theory. Have students create a project to build a simple solar panel gadget, and then apply the knowledge to solve real-world problems, such as reducing energy consumption in home or school environments. The benefits of this diverse learning methods are deeper understanding, engagement, longer retention of knowledge, and skill development. Uh, learning doesn't have to be a chore. It can be a journey filled with excitement and fun. So here's a thought to live with. How, uh, how, what type of learning experience would make studying meaningful to you? Thank you.